Hey, Rick, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, good, Jace. How are you, mate? All right? Yeah, very good, mate. Very good. Rocking the Hawaiian shirt awesome. today, mate. In total casual mode. <laughs> Look good, good, buddy. Look total good, casual good. mode. So, <laughs> no, nah, fantastic, mate. Fantastic. Well, uh, man, uh, if you follow our Facebook uh, channel and that, was some pretty crazy news that come through this week, Rick, which there we're going to get yeah. straight into today. We're not <clears> going to muck around. And we're changing things up a bit because we're going to throw the comic book movie news first because... This was probably the biggest news of the week coming up. So here we go. Rick, hit us with it, mate. What was the big news coming out this week? So the big news that came out this week is Jamie Foxx has confirmed that he is going to return as Electro in a Marvel Spider-Man 3. Uh, which is pretty pretty big news. Um, if you guys are too familiar, Jamie Foxx played uh, Electro in uh, the 2014's Amazing Spider-Man, which starred Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker. It wasn't like, a great movie, but, you know, uh, it, it is what it is. So Marvel Studios um, have come out and said, yeah, Jamie is going to reprise his role. Um, and this has kind of got everyone talking at at the moment because you know do we get jamie fox back or do we hire someone else it's got a lot of a lot of conversation going on about this and there's a lot of thoughts are happening and i know you're yeah. one of them jace yeah and so i, I certainly had an opinion on this when this was announced mm. i was uh, quite upset, to be honest with you. I was actually okay. a little bit annoyed right. about it because, well, yeah, as upset as you can be over this type of news, you yeah, know, like, yeah. wasn't changing my day to day existence or anything. But what <laughs> did annoy me about it was the fact of what are you doing? Like, you are going to confuse the audience. I mean, most general public see Jamie Fox and Electro, right? And then if you bring him back into the MCU in a completely different kind of timeline and a brand new Spider-Man completely, it, there's no continuity there. You're just going to confuse everyone. Mm. And honestly, Jamie Foxx's performance left such a bad taste in everybody's mouth from that mm. film. I mean, some of his stuff in that in Amazing Spider-Man 2 is horrible. It's some of the worst stuff in the actual movie. Mm. Is Jamie... That, that scene in front of the mirror where he's pretending to meet Spider-Man, like, yeah. I cringe now thinking of that. It was horrible. So I was pissed. I did not think this is the right move at all. I thought it was ridiculous. Well, you were a fan though, Rick. You were into it. I was a were... fan, yeah. I, I, I think it's a, it's a great yeah. move. Um, yeah. And I'm not the only one. As, as you guys know, you know, Sony and Marvel uh, have that deal so they can share Spider-Man. Yeah. And Kevin Feige is a really big Jamie Foxx fan, and he actually loved the portrayal of Electro when yeah. he played him. Yeah, I'd read that, that article was, too. He didn't like the blue. Yeah, he didn't like the blue. And he did say about that play. same scene I'm talking about. He wanted that cut out too. Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna, they're going to change the look of, obviously, Electro and make him a bit more badass. So, well, according to Jamie Foxx, that's that's basically <laughs> what Jamie Foxx said. He says he's not going to believe blue this time. He's just going to be a 1,000% badass. As so I want to see, I want to see some footage. I want to see. Oh some yeah, but it just seems up, so but... confusing. Until yeah. Rick, mm. I was very angry and confused. Until, well, let's just get into movie news and let's yeah, talk about let's get into it. part two of the big news this week. And the part two to this is the fact that the two days later we get announced that Benedict Cumberbatch is reprising his role as Doctor Strange in Spider-Man 3. Crazy. So you would have think in the beginning, you're going, what is this thing? What is this movie that they're trying to make? And then it all dawned on me, Rick. They're doing a live-action Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Yes. If you bring in Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange into this movie, it also goes back to the fact that his next follow-up film, which is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, is it plausible, Rick, that this film is a kind of after effect or maybe it's set before Doctor Strange 2. I can't remember the timelines, but I think 
Spider-Man 3 is going to have a Spider-Man into the Spider-Man. There were strong rumors. I mean, they've confirmed Benedict Cumberbatch, but there are also <laughs> very yeah. strong rumors out there now that both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield have been approached to reprise their roles of Spider-Man, which means we are going to probably to get probably see. a live action into the Spider-Verse. That's... I went from anger to excitement. To yeah. I really yeah. did because I'm like, the potential here is insane. What did you oh, think yeah. about that? Well, they're, they're saying that, you know, so Cumberbatch is, is reprising his role, obviously, as Doctor yeah. Strange, but he's going to be a mentor to, to Spidey, which yeah. obviously uh, Robert Downey Jr. was, you know. Well, that makes like, sense, doesn't it? Because they don't have Tony Stark in the world anymore. Yeah. So this, and, and I think you're, you're spot on, Jace. I think you're on something here. Um, like you said, uh, Doctor Strange can open up these multiverses and time travel and do all sorts. So it opens everything up. Well, it for makes Marvel. things logical yeah. sense in. That's why it Electro's does. in there. Mm. That's why you can have a, like, you can just move a through previous. all the Marvel film timelines with that, bring That's it right. all into continuity. But I will say this, Rick, I don't know how original Marvel has been because we know that over on the other side of the fence, on the DC side, they're planning a similar thing with The Flash. Yes, Because you've got are. Michael Keaton coming back as Batman. Back. They're doing a very similar multiverse type of thing over there as well. But There's what not- does it mean for the audience? We're going to get a couple of batshit crazy movies. And uh, <laughs> I'm pretty excited at that concept, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm stoked for this. I can't wait. And there, yeah. there's reports that they're starting to, to start filming. Um, Doctor Strange will start shooting at the end of October. And, oh, well, it's out a week or two away. Yeah, which is awesome. So yeah. I, hopefully everything goes well. And we can. Oh, look, I, I'm just happy, dude, because it means mm. people, it means they've been able to manage this whole COVID things, and movies are getting made at the moment. It's bad yeah. enough we're not seeing any of the ones that were supposed to already come out this year. But yeah. my fear was nothing else was going to get made. So it's great news that they're they they're out there shooting, making awesome content for you and me look, to watch. You, you look at, you know, the first two Spider-Mans, they're great with, uh, you know, they did well. Yeah, yeah, um, Spider-Man 2 is was... still a great, great comic book film. Yeah, so I, I think they're going to they're gonna do well with this one. So you know why I think they'll like... get Toby back? Because why? Cause cause Sam Raimi's directing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Right. Yeah. And they've got a very close relationship. So I can imagine Sam Raimi going, hey, man, come and play in the Marvel Universe for a couple of weeks. It'll be awesome. Mm. I'm pumped. Bring it on. Well, let's go. Well, oh, well, well, what an emotional roller coaster this week was right. in Marvel Huge News. Huge news. <laughs> All right, let's move over. Let's change gears a little bit, Rick, and let's flick over to some gaming news. Gaming. <laughs> All right, coming out this week is uh, one of one of my favourite games on the PS4. Rick is uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Nice, yeah, we got that. Beautiful. Aftermath. Oh, what a great game! Like just a gorgeous looking game, and just so yeah. much fun. Extremely violent, and they've released character packs along the way. You can get yep. yourself, you know, you can play as the Terminator or a RoboCop and the Joker. Or, the Joker, like there's there's fantastic stuff in there. So, uh, but now announced because there's another new pack coming out and it's yeah. around the fact oh, wrong story let's go back to that one right story now uh mortal kombat is getting what you could say an upgrade when the ps5 yep. comes out so if you own yep. mortal kombat 11 it's going to get yourself a free graphical upgrade but the more <laughs> important news in that i think is part of the new pack, character pack they're releasing yeah. Is we're going to get to see an 80s classic, my friend. Oh, yes. Who You'll we got, be Dave? able to play in Mortal Kombat 11 as, yes, correct, Rambo. <laughs> we're bringing in <laughs> Rambo. John Rambo. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, look, dude. I'm just absolutely <laughs> tickled pink at this one. You know, <laughs> you know funnily enough, Robocop and uh, Terminator, great characters to play. And Spawn, he's fantastic yeah. to play as well. But it's play Rambo, and like they show the trailer, which we can't show here because they'll copy YouTube with copyright yeah. strikers. Uh, it's the scene where Rambo just walks in, and starts mowing everyone down. I'm like, oh yeah, you got me, <laughs> you got Rambo, me. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna get it for sure, you know. So, but you got to give that like the last two Mortal Kombat games, Rick. Um, and then you've got Mortal Kombat 11 yourself. Yes. Um, yeah, I do. How good are they? Like, 
for a fight game, it's just phenomenal. You know, I've got an arcade machine now, which next time I'll put up some footage, uh, you know. Very sweet. Uh, which has all, it's an arcade machine. It's got all the arcade games in there, including more, the Mortal Kombat trilogy that come out in the arcade. And I was playing Mortal Kombat 2 the other day, and I'm going, oh, man, this is a little bit clunky. And then when you play, you see the evolution of that Mortal Thank Kombat you. series to where it is now is just absolutely phenomenal. So if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, get on that. You want to play Rambo. All right, Rambo. Mate? Rambo. Yes, that's it. All right, let's kick over to some streaming news. Wow, streaming is king these days, Rick, and what's going it on in that world? James. Very, very true, mate. There's a lot happening on streaming, but this one came across, and I was having a look, and I was thinking, mm, I was a little bit up and down about this one, but I'll see your thoughts on this one, Jace. Oh, okay. Netflix um, have struck a deal mm. to make a Conan the Barbarian TV show. Uh, okay. Okay. Based on, obviously, the character... Uh, from the book, from uh, Robert, Robert E. Howard, Howard. yeah, yeah in the live author. action. Yeah, so I'm a little bit, I don't know about this. They've, look, they've done a lot of these these reboots and remakes with a lot of these classic 80s movies, and then now they're trying to push more of the TV shows, and they just don't work. Mm. And I'm not too, I'm not 100% on this at the moment. Yeah. Um, but Netflix have, have got the deal. There's, there's still early stages at the moment. Um, they actually do have the rights for the international one as well, Conan. So this is going to be quite big for, for Netflix. Yeah. But I just don't know which way they're going to go with this. Yeah, I'm not you sure know. either, to be honest with you. Um, Look, the last time they tried to reinvent Conan, we got 2011's Jason Momoa-led Momoa. film. Not that there was anything yeah. wrong with Momoa. It was just yeah. tonally. The problem is, too, is... If you read the comic books and the novel and the classic novels and that, yeah. Conan isn't Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's his own character, and he's mm. sometimes there's different interpretations. You've had that through the comic book, but as a culture, when we think of Conan the Barbarian, we think of, think of one thing, and that's, that's Arnold, right. and that's Arnold. So it's going to take a lot, I think, for the audience to be able to buy a new Conan. And I think tonally they've gotten it wrong before. Because when they did that Momoa one, dude, it was bloody, but it was all poorly CGI blood and stuff like that. Yeah. But it felt very cheesy. And I think why we love Conan the, as much as we do is really based on that first film and how serious the tone of that first film was and how um, great you know Arnold was. So I'd like to see more Conan stories. I mean, I'm not chewing at the bit for it. But no. probably like you, man, we're just waiting on to see some footage of it. Let's see what they're going to do. Some footage. You know, I mean, look, like you said, Conan came out in 82. Phenomenal movie. It's one of our oh, yeah. favourite movies. It's in our top five, you uh, know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, they've done a short-lived uh, live action series back in 1997, right. which didn't do really well. So they, yeah. they've tried this before. Gee, I didn't even know they did that. So I don't know yet, dude. I just, yeah, like uh, I said, I want to see some footage and see what Netflix can yeah, do. Yeah, it, it'll be a wait and see deal, I reckon, this one for sure, yeah. mate. That's uh, for yeah. sure. All right, mate, we're going to kick over and see what's going Sorry, on on mate. the internet. Hey, all right, we're back. Now, uh, the internet, we always love watching videos, and you do that thing where you supply us videos and we see what's going on there and the, all right the first one we, we we saw something with Hugh Jackman I think last show but we you've did. led me to believe we've got something else to watch with Hugh Jackman we do have something else for Hugh Jackman oh. Hugh Jackman has released a new ad oh. for something that is made actually here in our hometown in in South Australia what's so that? Aaron R- Williams. Yeah, very so, proud of Aaron Williams. Isn't very, very fantastic proud. Fantastic so, company. Well, no further ado, let's have a look, eh? Here we go. Good night, Jason. Firstly, let me say to you that we are delighted that you love Aaron Williams boots. I'm actually, like, in love. They're great. They're amazing. Great. Which really? This makes this next bit a little awkward. Oh, we're on the same team here, man. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, while we appreciate how literally you've taken the clause that stipulates you can only wear R.M. Williams. My word is my bond. When I say I'm in, I am all in. You know? And honestly, it's me who should be paying you. Uh, it's a privilege. Uh, it is. It's a privilege. Uh, that's lovely to hear. Uh, I, I do want to note that you 
are allowed to, and we highly encourage you to wear other clothes. I mean, look at this. Well, look at clothes this. in general. Look, look, not look, just look, <laughs> look at this. It's one beautiful piece of leather. Beautiful stitching and they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, the balls of my feet just feel like they've died and were widely mourned and just went to ball heaven, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know? Seriously, it's, it's changed my life. 88 handmade processes, but I think you may be missing the point. Oh, no, no, I, I hear you. Don't worry, loud and clear. Only R.M. Williams. Yep, uh, are you gonna stand up now? <laughs> oh, it's just... What is this? It's a new chair. <laughs> what a new chair. Mm. That's awesome. You should be sitting. You should. You, honestly, you should sit in there. You, you, you can have that. <sighs> I'm just going to burn it. Everything in our rooms is just so comfortable. Not everything is comfortable. <laughs> Rick, that was great, <laughs> wasn't it? So He's on fire with his ads at the moment, Hugh oh, Jackman. That that last one with him, you know, being grumpy before he has coffee. And now this one being naked sitting in that. Just clever, fun no. ads. And that's Perfect. what they are. You know? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, man, I'm telling you, sales are going to go through yeah. the roof. Um, but as a buyer, South Australian, Aaron Williams are that comfortable. I will say that. They are a fantastic yeah. organisation. Support right. them. Um, and now the next one, dude. We got another. We've seen uh, some footage of this guy before, haven't we? He's... Yeah, yeah. I found him on, on, on TikTok and he, and he was uh, did yeah. some with with uh, Xbox and and his uh, PlayStation, but yeah. this time he's he's done a little video about a motivational speech. Oh, great, so let's, let's right. check it out. When one check door of happiness closes, another one opens until it closes as well, and your day is totally fucked up. It's no use thinking about what happened yesterday, because today <laughs> is going to be just as shitty. Smart people learn from everything and everyone. Average people learn from their experiences. Stupid people learn from their political party leaders. Whatever you are, be a good one. Unless you're a rapist. <laughs> the same boy in water that softens a potato, hardens the egg. It will also give you third degree burns. If you have the attitude that is going to be a great day, you will probably get stuck in traffic and it will fuck everything up. If you obey all the rules, you will miss out on all the fun. Is what my Catholic priest told me when I was 14. <laughs> Some yeah, Catholic yeah, priest told me that. <laughs> he's not bad. He's not bad. Eh? He's, he's pretty good. funny guy. He's, he's good. good. He's, from Malta. he's from Malta. So, ah, yeah. But... Hence the accent, of course. Yeah. Not that we can talk funny. with our audio accents. No, but that's mate, it. That's, that's, we've kind of that's... done it again, mate. We, we've pumped yeah. for another show. It's... Uh, Away we go. We're still not really getting to see many movies at the cinema yet, so nice. we're still stuck in that kind of nexus of shit at the moment. But yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. Like, there so. you go. There you go. Well, that's it, guys. We are done for another week. Before we go, I'd like Rick to plug away the channel, of course. Guys, all, you guys know exactly what you need to do, guys. Just follow us on our YouTube channel, our Instagram, our Facebook, you know, like, share, comment on all our videos, subscribe to our, our channel, and just have fun with us, guys. And that's, that's uh, easy and simple as that, guys. Really, no really worries. appreciate it. All right. Now, we'll, yes, absolutely. Now, before I go, and I'm going to do a proper announcement video on this, uh, but I'll probably... Mm -hmm probably good to kind of get it out in the ether now um yeah. i will be taking a sabbatical from the channel for a period um as some of you may know i've started my own business uh there's a lot of work to be done i've got a lot of kind of projects i'm trying to get through at the mm. moment and uh i unfortunately I just get in that scenario sometimes where i've just got to focus on that at the moment but the great news and the good news is it's going to continue this channel has blown up. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We got welcome all you new uh, Facebook followers. We love yes. having you on board. Right. That's really done well for us. Um, and Rick's going to continue to make unbelievable content. It's not happening straight away. It's probably going to happen no. over the next two or three weeks, and we'll let you know. And uh, Rick will take the mantle, mate, and we'll keep. You yeah. guys informed of what's happening out there in the world of movies, streaming, gaming, everything. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I probably think it's probably going to be about two to three months at this point. Um, yeah. My headspace is start the new year again. So yeah. that's basically yeah. where it's at. And hopefully I'll get through all my work. But this yeah. has been um, – I love, I love 
pub culture spread has been crazy. We've been doing this for three and a half years, years or something now, yeah. nearly four years. It's so big, it's been a long time. So it'll probably be good to, for, for me to get this project done, refresh, and then come back stronger. Yeah. And better yeah. than ever. But we'll let you know about that more as we're coming up. Until the Definitely meantime, awesome. guys, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you then. See you guys. Bye.